Greetings Aries and Aries Rising. This is your Western forecast for July 2024. There are two big themes, Cancer and Leo. The new moon is where our attention is being drawn to, is in the sign of Cancer, uh, peaking July the 5th for those next four weeks. The sun every July for the first three weeks is in Cancer, and so that's where your priorities are being drawn to. Cancer is for signs past Aries. So there's a real emphasis on fourth house matters. Home, family, property, moving, remodeling, repairs, domestic chores, all in the spotlight of that fourth house energies. But then we have the fifth house concurrent with that family or property of Cancer because Mercury, discerning Mercury, what are you planning, what are you thinking about? Mercury will be in Leo, a fire sign, very favorable to Aries, a fire sign, from July the 2nd to the 25th. So what your mind is going to be all about with the fifth house could be creative, could be playful, could be making plans for recreational activities, for entertainment, for vacations. And all that creative energy is Venus will also be in Leo from July the 11th to April the 4th or August the 4th. So when the sun leaves Cancer on the 21st, that new moon is still locking in that Cancer energies to the first week of August. But the sun then starts to put more of an emphasis, more a priority when it goes into Leo on the 21st for four weeks on your fifth house. So before I start breaking all that down and then discussing Mars and Jupiter going into your third house of sales and learning and traveling and explosive unpredictable Mars aligning with unpredictable Uranus, before we get to all of that, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And if you go into the description box underneath the video, you'll find direct links to book an astrology reading or check out my two question offer. Now, when the sun is putting a spotlight on cancer, on your fourth house of home and family, pleasure-seeking, cooperative, harmonious Venus will be in cancer that the sun is going to really spotlight for the first 11 days. So that first 11 days could be a lot of socializing, entertainment, really enjoying family reunions, family holidays, uh, beautify the home. And I'm looking at a lot of you might be um, hosting a party, hosting a reunion, a family reunion at your home that goes along with the fifth house of romance, creativity, and children. So Mercury is what is on your mind, what are you planning, what are you thinking about? It's going to be in Leo, a fire sign, very compatible for Aries, a fire sign, from July the 2nd to July the 25th. So there's a lot of this interest, a lot of this thinking and planning with fifth house matters. The fifth house can be children, entertainment, playfulness, vacations. Now all that creative playful energy mixed with the cancer energy could be entertaining at your home, could be entertaining with family, going on a family holiday. The fifth house can be very creative energies and with the fourth house of real estate, you could be beautifying, remodeling your home. Maybe it's just buying a piece of new furniture or some art or repainting the walls. 
and the sun is going into Leo on July the 21st for those next four weeks. So that really emphasizes what is on your mind with Mercury and Leo. Now Mercury in Leo, it will be joining will be joined by sociable, pleasurable Venus on July the 11th to August the 4th. So when Mercury and Venus are in harmony, there is what is on your mind with Venus. It's very pleasurable, it's very creative, especially being in the fifth house of creative, playful expression. Now, Mercury is the communicator. That can be the speaker, the writer, and with pleasurable, creative Venus, this is ideal for creative writing, speaking, or learning. Um, that could be the Mercury, um, new creative projects. Now, the full moon is on the 21st. So around the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, those several days around the full moon, this full moon is on the last day of Capricorn, but it's still putting a spotlight on your career sector as Capricorn is 10 signs past Aries. 10th house, your professional reputation, um, leadership, business matters. But this full moon on the 21st is going to join with Mercury. Um, Decision-making Mercury will be squaring or a hard angle to unpredictable or exciting Uranus. That full moon in the 10th house could suddenly bring to your attention a lot of business career matters. And with Mercury squ uh, squaring Uranus on the same day, so that Mercury Uranus energy will hold with the full moon that will hold till the next new moon, so for those next two weeks. But around the 21st, you might have to, with Mercury to Uranus, make very sudden decisions um, all about career matters. Now, on the 15th of July, Mars is a two-year cycle. Mars is aggressive, ambitious, fiery. Mars will be aligning with Uranus at Uranus for the month of July will be at 26 degrees of Taurus um, what, and um, once every 84 years. The Mars every two years will cross over every planet. Mars can just light the match, trigger the fire. Mars Uranus is on July the 15th. So as we're approaching the full moon with Mercury Uranus, that could be a lot of exciting new career options or suddenly having to make um, unexpected decisions or very quick decisions. Just prior to that is the Mars aligning with Uranus peaking on July the 15th. In the world, that Mars Uranus could be explosive, a major accident, protesting violence in the worst case scenario. Certainly a real demand for personal freedom. Your Mars Uranus is in Taurus. Taurus is the second sign past Aries. And the second represents your cash flow. So with the cash flow, where there could be some real upset, stresses, anxiousness going on, going into the full moon in your 10th house of careers, and Mercury Uranus having to make some sudden unexpected decisions around career, and the Mars Uranus is in the second house of income, there could be that, that last half, that third week of July, some really exciting opportunities with career. Um, just depends on what's promised in your chart, but it could be some very um, anxious, 
uh, unpredictable energies around finance, around career. Now, with the fifth house, with uh, the now the, let's uh, put it all together. The fourth house emphasis with the sun and the new moon in Cancer, Cancer being four signs past Aries, this could be around property. And the Mercury, Venus, Sun is all in the fifth house, which could be all this creative energies. Um, and so there might be the sudden decisions to remodel the home. But since we're talking more about money, cash flow, unpredictability, anxiousness, the fifth house in astrology also represents investments, speculation, gambling. And you might be feeling this a lot of anxiousness around real estate investing um, or a real estate investment might be making you really anxious if you're trying to buy or sell property. Now, the new moon on the 5th of July holding your intention with family property matters for those next four weeks, but the new moon in Cancer will be in harmony with stabilizing pragmatic Saturn in Pisces. They're both water signs. So this is also telling me that um, it's, it, things aren't going to blow up for you. It's going to be some real sudden unexpected opportunities and changes, but the new moon to Saturn will keep you level-headed. Now, the full moon on the around the 21st is in your career sector, and you may have to be making some real sudden decisions about your career because of the Mer Mer Mercury Uranus, but the full moon will be at 29 degrees of Capricorn and inspiring um, idealistic spiritual Neptune is going to be at 29 degrees of Pisces. So the full moon will be, it's called a sextile, very positive energy to Neptune. So this full moon is triggering career, uh, life purpose energies for you um, with an Neptune very inspiring. Um, and so this could be also very favorable with the fifth house, anything it has to do with creativity. Um, but could really inspire you and really change the course of your life with that fifth house if you were to have a child um, or, you know, or you were to conceive a child. That could change everything. So there's a lot going on. And one more piece to add to all this dynamic energies is Mars, when it leaves Taurus, goes into Gemini once every two years, all that fired up energies, on July the 20th until September the 4th. Mars goes through each sign for about six weeks. But while Mars is in Gemini, remember when it was in Taurus, it was approaching rebellious Uranus in Taurus. But after the 20th, the Mars goes into Gemini for six weeks, an expansive, prosperous, optimistic Jupiter is in Gemini that I've been talking about for recent months from May of 2024 till May of 2025. So that Mars-Jupiter can give a lot of uh, work opportunities, um, really going after goals and feeling really hopeful about it, lucky about it. But the Mars-Jupiter in Gemini is in your third house. The third house could be learning, learning new job skills, uh, the, just learning whatever. Could be good for traveling, which would be that fourth house, fifth house, bringing a family together with a holiday. 
But the third house is the house of learning and communications and writing. And communication Mercury is aligning with creative Venus in the fifth house of creativity. So this Mars-Jupiter from the end of July to the beginning of September could be very favorable for creative writing or acting or speaking, making travel plans, um, that third house also deals with, in relationships, siblings. Um, Jupiter's bringing all that generosity and support. The Mars is bringing a lot of activity. Some of you, from the end of July into August, could be traveling or making travel plans with relatives, but specifically with a sibling. So this is a very dynamic um, month. I do think with the new moon at the beginning of the month being stabilized by Saturn that the, these unpredictable anxious energies are not going to, you know, from the most part, you know, create a lot of unstable, unpredictable, upsetting energies. I just think a lot of new energy, robust, exciting energies are trying to come in. I want to thank you for watching. If you like information on how to book an astrology reading or check out my two question offer, visit my website at gardino.co. That's .co. Until next month, be safe and well.